Pictures are big, and here's a big picture, picture of James Brown. Let's have a look at the size of this. 700 kilobytes, actually, that's not bad for a picture. Uh, these days, if you've got 10 megapixel cameras, you can have really, really big pictures. But let's have a look at this inside Photoshop and see what makes up the picture. Now, here we are. Here's James Brown. And let's just um, look at the actual pixels. Well, I can't see them. And I still can't see them, so I'm going to make this bigger. And you can see that even at uh, stretching out to the full screen, you can't really see much of James Brown. So let's zoom in a bit further. Still can't really see the pixels. Uh, now I can, and look at that, 1,390%, and I can see the pixels. A lot of pixels to make a lovely, clear picture. But that's quite big. And I'm going to change my image size now and say, look, there, there we are. That's how many pixels make up the picture. That's how big it is in centimeters, and that's the resolution. That's the number of pixels per every inch. Now... I'm going to change the height that I want this picture to appear on my page. So perhaps it's 10 centimeters. You can see it's changed the pixels. I click OK, and there it is. And I'm just going to hit print size. And that's how big it would appear on the page. I click and I click actual pixels, and uh, there's the picture. Now let's save it. And I'm going to hit save as, and I'm going to call it James Brown, and I'm going to add um, uh, 10 centimeters and leave the quality as it is. And uh, let's go and have a look at the two files now. So let's just uh, select them. Let's get info. And you can see the new picture is 256K compared to 700 kilobytes. <laughs>